Hello and welcome to Cooking with Fee. Today I'm going to cook chicken tikka masala and this one is for you Steve, specially requested. If anybody else has any requests please put them in the comments below. We'll see what we can do. So here are our ingredients and we've got some onions, uh, that's one onion and they're finely sliced as opposed to being chopped. We need some salt, we've got 500 grams of chicken cut into bite-sized pieces, we've got tikka masala spice paste, two tablespoons, two tablespoons of tomato puree and then a can of chopped tomatoes and then to finish off we've got some mango chutney two tablespoons and then we've got 100 millilitres of yogurt and 100 millilitres of cream now in this case I'm actually using clotted cream because that's what's lurking in the back of my fridge but normally a single cream is probably um, better and then we've got some coriander just to sprinkle on top okay let's get on with some cooking So we're going to start by cooking down the onions. So we've got the gas on absolutely low as possible. We need a pan with a tightly fitting lid. And then we're going to add some oil. It's spot of oil for about a tablespoon. We're going to add our onions. And just spread those out nicely. And then we're going to add a good pinch of salt. And then we're going to pop the lid on and we're going to cook it for 20 minutes. Just checking it occasionally, make sure it doesn't burn. But yeah, that's going to cook out low and slow. We've had our onions and salt cooking down nicely for 20 minutes, so I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. Oh yes, very nice, very nice. And these are our onions that are cooked down quite nicely. They're not browning, but they're browning a little bit. Don't worry if they brown a little bit. What you don't want to do is, is burn them, because that will taste bitter. And what we're going to do now is add the tomato puree and the curry paste. That's <laughs> And then we're going to add the chicken pieces. And give that a stir, make sure everything's nice and evenly coated. Turn the heat up ever so slightly and we'll get that to cook through. Leave that for maybe six minutes, eight minutes or so until the chicken's going brown. So that's nicely browned off, but it's not brown, it's just cooked through. And then we're going to add the chopped tomatoes. Give that a stir. And we're going to let that simmer for again about another 10 minutes. Okay, so that's been simmering away for about eight minutes now, and it's looking pretty cooked. It smells really good as well. So, just to finish off, we're going to stir through some mango chutney. Two tablespoons of mango chutney, 100 millilitres of yogurt, 100 millilitres of cream, there we go. I'm just going to lower the heat slightly so I don't want anything to split. And just stir that through. Mm. You can serve this with a couple of things. You can have it on its own if you like, or you can serve it with some rice. We can serve it with some naan bread, 
Oh, I got a kind of bread that you fancy. <clears throat> I'm just going to heat it through. Just gently, I don't want to splash it everywhere because that would involve clearing up. Mm. It does smell good. I'm just going to leave that just to heat through a little bit and then we'll serve. And just to finish the dish off, we're going to have a sprinkle of fresh coriander. My favourite. I didn't used to like it actually because it's quite strong. A bit of an acquired taste for some people. There we go. And there we have it. This pan is hot. I'm not going to touch it. Um, the chicken tikka masala. If you want the full uh, recipe, it's on my website, www.cookingwithfee.com. And if you have any requests for uh, a recipe for me to cook, please drop them in the comments. Bye!